Just a quick demo on receiving amateur operators on a shortwave receiver. One that doesn't have a BFO. Something like this. The first thing you've got to check is it's got a band switch. AM, FM, shortwave 1 and shortwave 2. Some might only have a single shortwave band while others may have three or more. If it doesn't have shortwave it's unsuitable for this project. Next you've got to look at the dial. Pay particular attention to the numbers next to the shortwave 1 and shortwave 2. These are the frequencies. This one on shortwave 1 goes from 2.3 up to 7.3. Shortwave 2 7.3 up to 22. There's amateur bands at 1.8 MHz which this radio doesn't cover. That's called 160 meters. Moving up, another band at 3.5 megahertz called 80 meters. And at the end of the dial, 7 megahertz or 40 meters. These bands are good for communication within Australia. On shortwave 2, there's an amateur band at 10 megahertz or 30 meters, 14 megahertz or 20 meters, 18 megahertz or 17 meters, and 21 megahertz or 15 meters. However, cheap receivers like this are not so good in their performance on the higher bands. So almost all your listening will be on 80 and 40 meters. On this set, that's shortwave one. Unlike AM and FM, different radios may have different shortwave bands. Some might have 3 to 12 MHz, which is good for 80 and 40 meters, while others might have 6 to 18 MHz, only good for 40 meters. If you've got a few meters of wire, connect that to the telescopic antenna on the radio and put it up into a tree. That improves the radio sensitivity. Remember, amateur signals are a lot weaker than broadcast stations. Tune the dial around 3.5 or 7 MHz. 3.5 is better at night, while 7 MHz might be more active in the daytime. Around early morning or late afternoon, there might be activity on both bands. As you can hear, there's a lot of interference coming from electrical equipment. Tune until you hear duck talk. You can't understand it very much. Take another radio. This has got to have an AM band and hold it up to the radio that you're receiving the signal. Turn it on and tune the dial around 1300 or so. This will be very fiddly but there's a point where the signal you're receiving will become audible. You might need to turn up the volume. Now, if the signal is very strong, you need the radio right next to the other set. Now, if you want to tune other stations, move the main dial off, and you readjust those settings. 
How does all this work? Well, every broadcast receiver has a little oscillator. And that signal from the oscillator beats with the incoming signal. And that allows SSB and more signals to be received. If you're tuned into an AM station, you don't need that second oscillator. But for most amateur activity, you do. So that's it, receiving amateur signals on a normal consumer grade receiver. All it needs is a short wave band, and all you need is another AM radio to act as the VFO. 